I am the one of the postdocs at the Ivy Business School in the Ian Atonowitz <laughs> Institute for Leadership. And I have the pleasure of working with a fantastic team that does a lot of work in the character space, researching um, not only how character can be developed, but how it can really be leveraged to be embedded in organizations for the betterment, um, for flourishing within that organization. So I get the taste of both the academic and the non-academic, more applied aspects of it. I was part of the Western Formula Race team and this SAE team design builds and then races a Formula One style car, primarily with engineering students, but not, not only engineering students. And that year, we, we felt very connected with the idea of let's, let's really try to make this year count. Let's try to make it successful and not just, you know, having the fastest car. Of course, you want to have the fastest car, but we wanted to have a well-designed car, well-performing and a beautiful car. And we knew that we needed something to kind of spearhead the start of our season. We had the privilege of getting um, an intervention uh, by Mary Crossan. And she not only with the idea being that, you know, we want to get a formalized group activity that helps us start together as a team, right? Not just to club it as a team and a bit as a family, which that's what our goal was. What it ended up being was so, so, so much more. So it, it really transcended from the more technical verbiage to a lot more growth, which to me always surprised me was literally in one day. Like, I don't even know if it was a full, full day. I don't remember that, but I remember being astonished, feeling like a different person leaving and feeling everyone felt like a different person leaving that and that really cemented and just completely we call it contagion but it was like a contagious almost virus that started that day and then just kept going throughout the year um and as a bit of a spoiler that was a fantastic year for us we did really 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 well without that kind of more formalized this program is meant to be your not just kind of introduction to the app, but like the whole purpose is finding obligatory space to use this app, to give it a fair shot, right? Um, that's one of those, you'll, you'll have a much harder time finding that space on your own with no one else to keep you accountable. So right off the bat, that from both the professional and personal side, that got me very excited because it means, okay, Anna, you don't have that excuse anymore. You're doing this, which is great. On top of that, I get to do that with a wonderful group of people who all have that same mentality, who are going, hey, I wanna know the value this brings. What a better way than to, to force yourself to do it because sometimes you need that little push and the camaraderie between all of us means we keep ourselves accountable. We keep, our, keep ourselves motivated in a non-judgmental way which is super, super key, right? Um, what I'm trying, what I wanna get out of it, outside of the professional understanding it as a wonderful, um, you know, tool for developing and for measuring that development, I feel that it, it's gonna give me a really good, mostly unbiased, I'm still doing the things, so it's slightly biased, but mostly unbiased measure of how is my character doing? I think I know I know there's more negative things sometimes. I'm not as appreciative about the positive things, right? Instead of focusing on, you know, the stress of, oh, I have to prepare for teaching and I have to prepare this presentation and I have to write this paper. It's learning to be appreciative, like the opportunity I have to do all these things. I, I have the privilege of living somewhere where I got the opportunities to work a, a, a job that I can sometimes work from home that I can go in and see people as well, that I, you know, the things I have access to, the food I have, the fact that I'm close to my family, all those little things that I realized being more appreci appreciative was missing. And it ended up bringing like, like that feeling of like a little warm light in sometimes a gloomy moment, right? Because when you're stressed and you start thinking, you start feeling overwhelmed, to me, it feels almost like a bit of a gray haze and the appreciative one really like bloomed a light. It, it, it isn't that you need to take things completely off your plate to feel more appreciative and feel better about it. It's more that sense of being appreciative 
in the moment made those things seem more manageable, seem more like, yes, that's happening and that's okay, right? Like today I feel like I have too much on my plate. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get it done, but I'm gonna do it because I feel appreciative that I have all these things to do and that I have the ability to come up with a way to get through the ball anyway. I also talked a little bit about the app and like the use, right? But sometimes it's hard because I'll remember right in the beginning of the day and I'll think of the things I have to do. And then at the end of the day, I realize I forgot to do it. I forgot to actually push the button on the app. And then I go, that's really frustrating because I put in the work and now it doesn't show it. And the competitive side of me goes, the green, the green arrow is in there. <laughs> um, which here's the key, one of the key takeaways was the connection that I felt with Bill and Rebecca, how they both were like, yes, we've experienced the same thing, right? That, that right there to me goes, yeah, Anna, this is why you wanted to be part of this program because it's not just you're being accountable here, but they're not there to judge you. They're there to support you. And we're there to support all of us together, right? And we're, and we're also there to give each other feedback and tips. And it's also a grounding because we all come from, we're in all different places of the world, different times, different time points in our career, different ages. I think it, it is really grounding because it also kind of humanizes us all a little bit, right? Like sometimes, when you're early in your career, you see someone later in their career, even on their second or third career, and they're super successful. It's it's easy to feel disconnected, both from the perspective of the person who's starting and the perspective of the person who's more further along. So that that connection, I think, that's so that's so hard to find naturally. <laughs>